A man faces charges after police say he allowed his dog to starve to death. Lawrenceburg police tell us they found the dog dead in the man's backyard. They think the pet had been there for several days. WKYT's Mark Barber is tracking the investigation into what happened in, a top, in our top story at 5. The Lawrenceburg police chief says when officers found the dog behind a home here on Rippey Street, the dog appeared to have been dead for a few days. Officers say the dog's owner let the dog starve to death because it was going to the bathroom in his house. The police chief says the old miniature pincher was chained in a backyard without food or water or shelter. After someone called for help, an officer showed up at the home on Sunday, but it was too late. The dog was dead. A source close to the case who does not want to be named says Howard Tennell, the owner of the dog, chained it outside two weeks ago. The source tells WKYT that Hennel kicked the dog and left it outside in the rain and in the cold. When officers found the dog, the witness says its legs were broken. According to court documents, Tennell told police he was responsible and he knew it was not the right way to treat an animal. The 39-year-old was not jailed because he was charged with second-degree animal cruelty. The police chief says that's a misdemeanor offense, and you have to be accused of allowing your dog to fight in order to be charged with felony animal cruelty. Billy Woods thinks the law does not match the alleged crime. That's sad because if we starved a child to death, we would go to jail. I mean, there's not any difference. They can't speak, neither can kids, so... I think you should serve time for it. The Anderson County Judge Executive says Tennell promised to bury his dog, but when officers came back to his house, the dog was still in the yard. The animal has since been sent on to UK Hospital for testing. Investigators hope to learn how that dog died soon. In Lawrenceburg, Mark Barber, WKYT. And again, the judge executive says Tennell promised to bury his dog, but when officers came back to his house, they say the dog was still in the yard and the animal has been sent to UK for testing.